Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's suppose that we wanted to multiply this out, 2x squared minus 3y, all raised to the 11th power. How would we do it? Well, I mean, this is a really big power. Pascal's triangle is really big. Um, and let's just, so let's just try to do, let's just try to try to at least look at one term. Um, let's look for the term that has x to the 8 in it. What term would that be? Hmm. Let's think kind of the strategy. This is a, this is b, and we're doing a plus b raised to the 11th power. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, the different terms are going to look like a to the 11th, a to the 10th, b, uh, so b to the first, right? Because those always add up to 11. Go down all the way to the other end, it's going to be a b to the 11th, um, a, b to the 10th, a, b to the 9th, say a, b to the a, a, say a squared, right? So we'll have to add up to a cubed, a to the 4th, b to the uh, seventh, those add up to 11. Now notice, you see this four right here? Um, if we were to plug in x squared into this, let's just think about what happens. Two x squared raised to the fourth power. See this two and this four, they multiply together in here. So that would actually turn out to be two, uh, two to the fourth multiplied by x to the two times four, which is eight. Hey, that's what we wanted, right? Okay, so it looks like we're after this guy. We need the coefficient of that. So we're looking at this expansion right here. A plus B to the 11th. And in this expansion, we want to determine what the coefficient is of A to the fourth, B to the seventh, because we know when we plug an X squared in, we're going to get an X to the eighth. So that is what we're looking at. All right, what's that coefficient? Well, we got 11 things, right? What's easier to compute? 11 choose four or 11 choose seven? Well, four, right? Because there's less things on top and bottom. Now, this comp so this computation, we can just do by choosing this guy right here. Um, so we have four things on top, four things on the bottom. On the top, we start at the top at 11. 11 times 10 times 9 times 8. OK. Then on the bottom, we start at the bottom. 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. All right. Cancellation. And then right here, we get um, 3 cancels. And we have 3 times 10 times 11, which is 330. So 330, okay. So this term looks like 330 times a to the fourth times b to the seventh. All right, so now we're ready. Now we just need to plug in what a is and what b is. So this term is gonna have 330, 2x squared raised to the fourth, and then b, which is negative 3y, raised to the seventh. And we just distribute our exponents. So 2 to the 4th, so we're going to get 330 times 2 to the 4th is 16. So I'll put the constants out front. And then x squared to the 4th is 8. So see, the 4 went to the 2, and then the x squared, and the 2 and the 4 multiply together to give you x to the 8th. I'll put that right here, because we need to do, figure out what happens with this one. The 7th power goes to the y, but also the negative 3. Actually, you could think of the seventh power going to a negative one and to a three. So negative one times three, seventh, seventh. So this negative one of the seventh, we know what that is. That's negative. So let's just put a negative out front. And then we have three to the seventh. I'll just write that like this, three to the seventh. Uh, that's a fairly big number. All right, for coefficient. And then we have y to the, and y to the seventh right here. All right, so this, and I'll just leave it like this. This is the term that has an x to the eighth in it um, in this expansion if we've collected all like terms. Thanks for watching.